With regard to the ongoing floods, there have been a few waggish musings on social media lately along the lines of, yeah, maybe it's time to build a boat and fill it with animals. Yeah? A boat full of animals, because rain, boat... Yeah, followed by uh, ponderings on whether such a vessel might actually be a viable proposition. Well, by coincidence, this very topic came up the other night uh, during a long-anticipated live-stream debate between leading young Earth creationist Ken Ham and popular American TV scientist Bill Nye. And uh, having heard all the evidence, I am happy to finally confirm that... <sighs> Noah's Ark, it really happened It absolutely, positively, genuinely happened Noah's Ark, it really happened Just like they say it did The biggest wooden ship ever made Was a schooner called Wyoming It was built in 1909 And was 450 feet long But wooden ships that big don't work Cause wood is way too bendy So it went a funny shape And sank it all went a bit wrong But Noah's Ark, it really happened It absolutely, positively, genuinely happened A wooden aircraft carrier built Built by one bloke and his sons. <laughs> Bible scholars say the ark had 7,000 species on, but there are 16 million species on the earth right now. For all those different species to appear in just 4,000 years, 11 new ones would evolve every 24 hours. But Noah's Ark, it really happened. It absolutely, positively, genuinely happened. Noah's Ark, it literally happened. It's not even a metaphor. <laughs> It landed in the Middle East with all the kangaroos on board who then hopped to Australia and managed not to drown. <laughs> but that might be because it seems kangaroos were immortal cause no kangaroo fossils out with of Australia have been found. But Noah's Ark, it really happened. It absolutely, positively, genuinely happened. Noah's Ark, it really, really happened. It really happened then. Now grab some planks, it's happening again. 